Eric. Good morning. Good morning. So my name is Eric. I am from Canada, and I have a permanent ileostomy, but I'm a happy ostomate. I'm 35 years old, and uh, I'm married with two kids. I have a son who's 11 and a daughter who will be 14 in a few weeks. These days I enjoy uh, web design, uh, purely for hobby. I uh, enjoy going outdoors a lot, hiking, and I also enjoy thrill rides, roller coasters, that sort of thing. I work as an account manager for a company that supplies to the print industry, and I've been doing that for well over a decade now. And I receive a lot of my moral support through family, but also a lot of online friends who happen to also be awesomemates. While I was in hospital, I was given a one-piece appliance. Now, that system was given to me um, more or less as a starter system. And I decided to change that appliance approximately every two days, and I find that because the stoma is so swollen after surgery, I found it difficult to maintain uh, any wear time longer than that because as the stoma would shrink, I would start to get leaks and other skin problems. So two days was a sweet spot for me. And having the clear bag also allowed me to monitor my stoma's health, make sure everything was going fine. I also had a little bit of interest in seeing what was going on. I do find that generally, for me, one-piece systems can't always get a perfect fit, so I have moved on to a two-piece. My preference is a clear appliance still, but I do usually wear a pouch cover with that. Now in Canada, we generally try to aim for a wear time of about seven days, and a lot of that has to do with the fact that patients often have to pay for their own supplies out of pocket. I find that a good balance for me is about three to four days, and you know, I get good skin health, but it's also very economical doing it that way. I also use supplies like barrier rings and flange extenders, but I only use them when I need to. I don't use them all the time. But I'm a big fan of some of the accessories, so things like pouch covers, um, ostomy support bands, and pouch deodorant. I don't find that they're necessary, but they definitely improve my quality of life. So I'd like to just share my story from diagnosis to recovery. So in 2007, I was having some symptoms that were not necessarily uh, digestive related. And um, I had seen a doctor in 2008. I had a colonoscopy and I ended up um, being formally diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Now at the time I didn't really think too much of it. My symptoms were relatively minor, but uh, over the next few years uh, they started to get increasingly worse. I developed multiple fistula, I had severe perianal disease, and I was generally in very poor health. I did spend several months um, bedridden, essentially, and uh, that continued through until about 2012. Now through that time I was uh, going the standard route with medication. I had been on steroids, biologics, anti-inflammatories. I also explored some of the alternative therapies, but nothing helped. So in 2013, my GI, uh, who had done another colonoscopy, suggested that I may be a likely candidate for an ostomy. At the time I was very apprehensive. I really didn't know what that entailed. I thought that perhaps an ostomy would mean I wouldn't be able to do much, and I was quite worried about that. But I had a good nurse who assured me that I'll be just fine. So in 2013, August to be specific, I was given a permanent ileostomy, and um, I've been happy ever since. <clears throat> Now, during my surgery phase, I did have a, a very educational pre-op. Through the pre-op, I had an ET nurse who guided me through a lot of the stages that the surgery would have to go through. She helped to answer any of the questions that I had, and I did have quite a bit. She showed me some appliances, which I thought was actually a very good idea because it 
helped me to familiarize myself with what I was going to expect. It also helped to ease uh, my mind a bit. And now that I can see exactly what I'll be wearing, it reassured me that I think it wasn't too bad. I was given a starter kit also, and that kit included a DVD with uh, just some helpful advice. It came with a pamphlet with um, different lifestyle-related issues that I may face. And it also came with some sample appliances that I would be able to try at home a few weeks before the surgery. I'll be honest, the sample appliances were quite fun to play around with. I got to show my kids what uh, things were going to be like. And at one point, my son had said, hey, maybe I should try one too. <laughs> Now, for the surgery phase, I had actually uh, experienced quite a good uh, educational uh, session with a large team of healthcare professionals. First, I was in to see my ET nurse who had marked my stoma, which I understand is quite important. I also spoke with an anesthesiologist, and for me, it was important to speak with one because I don't have a very good experience with anesthesia, especially after my colonoscopies, I tend to feel uh, quite drowsy for several days, sometimes weeks. So I felt that it was very important to speak to one, and um, they did a very good job. I was also very happy to see my surgeon that morning. Uh, her and I had a very brief talk. Um, gave me a, a big morale boost, which I think is extremely important, especially because I know a lot of patients are very nervous about what the surgery might entail. But. I really, at that point, wanted to have surgery because my quality of life was next to nothing. The medical staff in general was very helpful, keeping me calm. Um, obviously, there were quite a few things that needed to be prepped uh, before the surgery, and they got everything together. Now, my hospital stay was approximately five days, and during that time, I was able to see my ET nurse more than once. I had a lot of questions for her and just wanted to make sure that I was applying my appliance properly. I also spoke with a dietitian, and I felt that that was important for me specifically because one of the concerns that I had was diet. And since I'm vegan, which means I don't eat animal products, my diet tends to be very high in plant matter, high fibrous foods and that sort of thing. So uh, the dietitian was able to give me a lot of information, very helpful, and uh, I think that really eased my mind and I, I feel very comfortable around food now. Now I was a very proactive patient in the hospital so I wanted to change my appliance right away and uh, I did have nurses that were helping to make sure that I was doing the right thing, making sure that everything was okay. And I really appreciate that help. Now I was also sent home with a care package and that was more to uh, get me set up for the next few weeks following the surgery and I was sent home with quite a few um, pouch, uh, one-piece pouches, uh, deodorant, stoma powder, and that sort of thing. And I think it's actually good for patients to know that those supplies are available because sometimes if you have a concern about a smell, for example, it's nice to know that a pouch deodorant is available. During my home phase, I had uh, home care nurses come by. Uh, sometimes to look after my ostomy, not so much because it was so good with changing my appliance, but more to tend to my wounds and whatnot. I was visited by uh, no less than two ET nurses at the time, and I had still questions to ask, so they were very helpful in providing answers. I spent a lot of my time looking at videos and reading blogs from other patients, and I find that that was a very important step for me in accepting my ostomy. I think the feeling of you know, not being able to do anything weighs heavily on a lot of patients' minds. So being able to see other patients doing everything really makes you feel good. Now on a daily basis, I tend to do pretty much what I want. I enjoy going to the amusement park. I know it's a big running joke in my family, but I probably spend more time there than at home. In a few months, I actually plan to do bungee jumping with my 14-year-old daughter, and at some point, I'd like to do skydiving. My ostomy will not stop me. I was so inspired by other patients sharing their story that I decided to start my own website, 
to help other ostomates. So I currently run the Vegan Ostomy website. And the reason why it's Vegan Ostomy was because of the big concern that I had about diet and lifestyle, maintaining that. And I really couldn't find many answers online, so I decided to create a site to provide those answers. Currently, the site sees over 10,000 unique visitors from over 150 countries around the world. My articles have been read more than 200,000 times, and I have a YouTube channel that has nearly 100 videos, and those videos have been viewed over 100,000 times. My motto is that attitude really is everything. I think that it's very easy to become the victim when you're a patient, but I don't think that serves us well. If you have a positive mindset, and I think it's really important to instill this right at the beginning, you can really do anything you want. And that's really the message that I try to convey to other patients out there. Don't let your ostomy be a barrier. I think for most people, the limitations they set are the ones in their mind, and it's not necessarily the physical. So that's really the, uh, my goal, and I'd like to help as many people as I possibly can. I'd like to thank everyone for attending. I'd like to thank Bibron for the invitation. It's an absolute honor to be here. South Africa is a very beautiful country and I definitely won't forget it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for this uh, fantastic testimonial.